So I recently got this amazing book by Bill Mollison, who's the founder of Permaculture. It's called uh, The Permaculture Book of Ferment and Human Nutrition. It's really uh, a good resource. And in it, I found um, a recipe or more of a technique for capturing your own koji spores. So I'm actually going to attempt to do that. I've got all of my ingredients and um, equipment here. So I'll show you how I'm going to do it. So the technique that um, is referred to in this book, I'll just go ahead and read it. Um, the molds are of wide natural occurrence and can be caught by wrapping eight to 12 centimeter, three to four and three quarter inch balls of steamed and molded substrate, rice, barley, millet, soybeans, and so on, in leaves or straw. These are bound fairly tightly with cotton or string and hung in the air below eaves, where over one to three months, the breezes bring spores. They are ready for use when covered with a white mycelium or darker green spores. So that's the idea. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a few of these um, little spherical things that we can uh, hopefully catch some wild koji. So this is just steamed rice. I soaked it first and then steamed it and it's ready to go. And I'm gonna form it, like he says, into about four inch uh, round uh, or so balls. So uh, I think I might have just one enough to do that. Now this rice is a little bit dry, a little bit concerned about it, so I'm just gonna wet it down just a tad. It's a little gummy too, so it might have overcooked it, but we're still gonna give it a go. So I also have a banana tree, so I got um, a nice leaf of that. And so I'm going to cut this in half and I'll make two, two balls for this experiment. I'm just going to divide what I have here uh, evenly and then uh, do my best to kind of shape it. Then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to wrap the whole thing in cheesecloth. So that'll provide another um, layer of, you know, form uh, without necessarily impeding airflow because cheesecloth is very porous. All right, so I figured I'd make a little uh, sling by taking the, the Never done this before, if you can't tell. All right, so it's a pretty thin layer of cheesecloth, but again, as long as it holds everything together, that's what we want. All right, so I'm just gonna try to wrap everything up. And um, supposedly the leaves themselves contain some of the inoculants. So that's why it's good to use plant leaves if you can. So I'm cutting the string uh, probably about a foot long, just so that we'll have a place to, uh, uh, when we hang it from the eaves, which is the next step uh, outside, we'll have some play. All right, so we have our two rice balls, and let's go hang them up. All right, so I've retightened little packages so that they're pretty, uh, pretty tight. I got a piece of tape that just has the date on it, just preparing them for their hanging adventure. Let's 
so by hanging them here, uh, they're just there's a north wall right here, so it's kind of protected from the wind. But as you can see, it's, uh, it still gets a little bit of circulation. So uh, in a wet season, which we're entering now, we don't want them to get too wet. So I think this will work. I'll check on them in our next storm and see if uh, they uh, protect that against the rain.